Hello everyone and welcome to other video tutorial. In this video I gonna show you the five important step how you can boost your operation system just like a Shazam. First of all uh, we going to search menu and from here you type RUN and you choose run or you can just hold the uh, uh, windows button key key board uh, with r in the same time now we write cmd command prompt pad. from here we type reg edit After you see this page, we're going to choose the second folder here, current user. From here, control panel. And from here, we go down for desktop folder. In the right side, we should looking for menu show daily. If you just click on this page here and push M, M word on your keyboard should be so we're looking for menu show daily all right here we are menu show daily as you can see uh, the data tab is 400 we're gonna change it to 5 double click on the value here and from this window open it up the value data from 400 we're gonna reduce to 5 after push ok you should see the change about here so first step is finish we close this window second step we gonna type msconfig push enter on the window on the screen we're going to start up menu and click on open task manager from this page you can see on the start up menu the list of program when we so when your windows is start and loading they probably run all of this program in the background and all of them will take more RAM memory and CPU space on your system so we have to looking for those we don't need it or not necessary for example in this case I gonna disable iTunes helper just right click on it and choice disable also the download manager I don't want to be as a default option to be enabled so I just right click on it and disable that as well so it depends on your system you should look for which program and uh, is not necessary after you choosing those one you don't need it you just disable and eventually just close the window just be aware some of this uh, um, program in the background is related to the windows we should leave it to be enabled in a default option after that we just close the window and click on ok and third step in this step we can uh, try to uh, give more extra RAM as a virtual RAM on your PC. This is help you when you're running a game or any program. Uh, they need more space to. They need more RAM to run up on your Windows. So, for doing this, we should go to. We should go to your PC or my computer. From here just right click and choose the last one properties 
on this windows we're going to choose advanced system settings and from here on the tab advanced performance and choose settings on this windows we're going to advanced and from here in virtual memory session we choose change from here we untick automatically manage where the windows not located where your where your operation system is not located and be sure you have enough space uh, like 10 gigabyte at least for this purpose so from here I gonna choose drive D and choose custom size and the top I'm gonna type 8000 megabytes and maximum 16,000 so after sets we should see the change here so as you can see I add a virtual memory on drive D to 16 gigabytes and it will help me when I'm running game or any program who they need more RAM after you choose OK so after you doing this change you should require to restart your PC in case to apply all that change be sure after all you should restart your computer to see the change so the next step is also I'm gonna show you how you disable some function is not necessary like animation on your windows and it's help you to speed up the running pages or moving from the tab to other tab or to other windows for doing this we should again back to your my computer right click same process properties advanced system setting again advanced setting and from here this time visual effect so you have to do it adjust by yourself in this purpose for example I'm choosing custom and from here I can tick or untick what I don't need for example those animation and after you choose in your changes you have to apply and click on OK in a case if you don't want all that change you have to just choose let Windows choose what best for my computer and it will back to the default version after all, the, all those change we have to apply OK and then restart your computer to see the changes and the last part we're going to use SFC system file checker in common prompt pad. for this purpose I'm going to search bar and I'm typing common prompt pad or CMD and right click on it choose run as administrator be sure you can see administrator in a title bar menu here so from here I just type SFC you can see all the command related to this command sub command so in this video for a purpose we're going to choose the first one scan now is help to repair your Windows DLL file or any issue related to that so for doing that I have to type SFC space forward slash scan no or you just can simply come here right click choose edit mark and copy the first command after you copy and paste it here or just type it here 
you should push enter. So as you can see it's beginning so it's take a while to check all those files and if there's any issue it's gonna be replaced automatically. So it's gonna take a while I'm gonna pause the video until it's finished. So as you can see all the process is down and is successfully completed. So the last part I want to tell you also is for clean up your Windows Drive C. So go to your computer, my computer, right click on your Drive C where the Windows is located. Choose the property and from here choose this cleanup. On this Windows choose cleanup system file and wait. So in this Windows try to tick all those boxes especially temporary file folder thumbnails and recovery pins and temporary internet file if you want it so you can see here total amount of disk space you gain is in this example is almost 4 gigabyte so after click on ok I should see clean up 5 gigabyte from entire this hard drive so as you can see is another 5 gigabyte almost we gain from this drive is clean up and is the end of the video I hope you enjoy this video and it's helpful for you